In this video, we're going to go over how to use StackCrunch to find the p-value and test statistic in a hypothesis test with two proportions. So let's focus on problem number 10. So if you kind of glance down to the last sentence here, it says, does the data indicate that the proportion of all women who like cats is greater than that of men? So the problem is clearly talking about two proportions. So all we do is we go over here to StackCrunch and we click on stat. And then we go down to where it says proportion stats and we select to sample because we have two things. We have men and women. And then you go to with summary. So you left click on with summary. Once you get to this box here, it says successes. Now we can go back and reread the question. So a sample of 59 women showed that 45 of them like cats. So 59 is the bigger number. That's the observations. It's the sample size. So you type it into the box that says observations. Then it says 45 of them like cats. That's the successes, so 45. Then we read the next sentence. A sample of 62 men showed that 36 of them like cats. So this again is the observations. So you go to observations and you type in 62. And then the successes, that's 36. Then if you look at the last sentence, does the data indicate that the proportion of all women who like cats is greater than that of men. So because it says greater than, you just pick greater than here. You leave this box alone, you never change this number, just leave it at zero always. So because it says greater than, you just pick greater than. Then all you do, whoops, don't click confidence interval, leave it at hypothesis test. Uh, let's just double check it. We have 59 women, that's the observations, that checks. 45 of them like cats, that's the successes. We have 62 men, that's observations, 36 of them like cats, that's, that's these successes. And it says greater than, so we chose greater than. Then you click compute, and we have the answers. The test statistic is right there, so z equals 2.13, 2.13, and the p-value is also right there. So p-value is 0 0.0167, it's right here. So we have the test statistic and the p-value. So I hope that made some sense. And if you want to see it one more time, you go to stat, proportion, to sample, with summary. And then you left click, and then you just type everything in, and you change this symbol here. So I hope that made sense.